Welcome in my ass that party, people. So in this video, I'm going to show you that, you know, when you try this problem out, you might believe that it's doable, but it takes a long time. So hopefully you've had a chance to try this out yourself. And that's what I want you to do for every video. But in this video, I'm going to show you why you don't have to take so long doing a problem like this. There's actually a shortcut. So whenever you see a problem that you are like, wow, I can do this, but it's just taking me a really, really, really long time. There are always shortcuts, typically speaking. So let's go ahead and show ourselves how to get a problem like this done. That way you can lower that test anxiety and tackle more problems that are new to you with relative ease. So here we go. And if you like the trick I'm gonna show you, go ahead and leave a comment down below, letting us know that this is useful. That way we'll keep making more videos for this. So here we go, my party people. The question reads right over here. It says, hey, uh, what day will it be 52 days from today? Okay, sounds good. So if today is Sunday, we wanna know what day it'll be 52 days from now? Okay, cool. So typically someone might say, hey, if we're on Sunday, I'm gonna add one to get Monday. Then if you add two days, that's Tuesday. Then add three, that's Wednesday. Add four, that's Thursday. Add five, that's Friday. Add six, that's Saturday. Do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see how long this might take? But here's what I want you to notice. If I add the seventh day, that's gonna be Sunday now. Oh, look at that. If I add eight, then nine. Do you notice a possible pattern here, my party people? Because remember, a week is seven days. So if we want to know what day it'll be 52 days from now, we don't actually need to count like we're doing like this. We don't. What we actually could do to make this so much faster is notice that, again, this is what's called a modulus question or a remainder question, a question that has to do with remainders. That's it. Just to keep it simple. And let me show you how cool this is. So I know that every seven days is going to be Sunday. So think about it like this. Uh, if I add 14 days, because that's seven, then seven again, that'll be another Sunday. If I add another seven days, 21 days, that'll be another Sunday. And if you notice, then what we're doing is we're basically just counting up really, really, really quick, skipping all the extra fluff here. So if I keep going, 14 will be Sunday. Day 21 would be Sunday. Day 28 would be Sunday. 35 would be Sunday. 42 would be Sunday. And so would day 49. That would be Sunday as well. Now, knowing that, we just got really, really, really close to 52 days from now. We're only three days away. So all we needed to do was get to a number that, or get to the number as close as we can to that, counting by sevens, because we're talking about weeks. So with that said, boom. If we go to day 50, that's Monday. 51 would be Tuesday and 52 would be Wednesday. And that's why the answer here is C. So let me know if that trick really helped you out. At the same time, look, these problems, there are plenty of problems like this where if you know what the underlying math is, like the relationships, what it's there, what, it, what is actually there, then you're gonna be in a really good spot to shave down that timer. Cause yes, anybody can do this problem. Anybody can count to 52, but do you wanna count to 52 and counting on your fingers every day of the week? Or would you rather notice that, hey, 52, Okay, if it's Sunday, it'll be Sunday on the 49th day. Then 50 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 52 done. That's how quickly you can get this problem done. So if you like that again, go ahead and drop a comment below. And at the same time, if you haven't heard, I actually have a full program with plenty of problems just like this. Over 15,000 to be exact. And you have access to all of my recordings, all of my classes, the live Zoom ones, and you get access to me to text anytime you want. So if you're interested in that, go ahead. Scan the QR code up there, go to that link over there, and then shoot me a text. There's my number. Shoot me a text once you're done, letting me know that you're all signed up so I can welcome you into the program. I'll see you soon.